Ah, raining again in Cairns. But that should come as no shock. But what may surprise you is the character behind the man that the media dub Agent 97. But who is this man of mystery, this highlight reeling, photo bombing, Mickey Mouse costume wearing, vino swirling whiskey connoisseur? Find out on this edition of the Tropic Zone. scooter yeah. living close to practice so you've got to get there without a car which is always pretty good um, golf clubs uh, mainly for off season not a whole lot of playing golf during the heat in the summer up here unfortunately you wonder why not. yeah exactly right and then yeah, um, training gets in the way of uh, golf yeah. no I think you know the, the nine nine sessions we have a day is uh, you know pretty adequate for playing golf in between so uh, yeah we do what we can and then, uh, obviously, you've got to have your, your Disney round costume all set up uh, for this year. Yeah, well, obviously, had to make some cans modifications with the onesie being a bit warm up here, so we've cut the legs off, and uh, we've also made it into a singlet. All right, Weeksy, um, I've heard some rumours that uh, you're a bit of a connoisseur in the kitchen, is that correct? Um, you know, we like to we like to dabble in the kitchen. Uh, make your own pasta, does that resonate with you? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're not that store-bought what, what pasta talking? people. Not store-bought? Nah, we're not, we're not those people, so... Um, so just the homemade pasta from Coles, is that what you... Is that, is it more than no, that? no, no, we go that extra step. Make really? our own pasta. Yeah, the only way to do it. True, authentic Italian. Right. There's no Italian blood in us, but um, yeah, can we you, like to Can you show me the steps right now? Of can course we can, Lance. All, right. All right. So has this been passed down from generations, I'm getting? Um, one generation, <laughs> us. Um, yeah, and after, an Italian cooking course. And an Italian cooking course. After playing in Germany a couple of years ago, we went to Italy and did a cooking course over there. And um, that's where we learned to master our pasta skills. <laughs> um, so basically, if the dough wants to come out, which it doesn't. All right, and then pretty simple, get in some flour and then knead for 40 to 50 minutes. <laughs> we can use the, the fast forward edit yeah. on this one. <laughs> Baby's bottom. Baby's bottom, Laos. Oh. But yeah. We don't have any babies, so no. we just show off what it is. We well, <laughs> have our pasta. And that's it. <laughs> I was going to ask you, I mean, married last off season, babies this off season? No. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's a fair, Definitely not. Yeah, there's, there's a fair bit before we, uh, we cross that bridge, I think. That ought to do it, I reckon. Pasta done. Alright. So this is where all the magic happens. Um, basically, you just roll it through. So it messes up, it's not like it. It starts wider, and then you get one success through. And it becomes thinner each time. How are we looking here? We're looking pretty good. Nice. A long bit of pasta. Would you like pasta a la fettuccine uh -huh. or a la spaghetti today, oh, Laos? Uh, definitely fettuccine, please. Fettuccine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm um, gonna try like a big pizza pie. That's amore. That's amore. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rest of the... Uh, it's not important. 
It's not important. See, it's already done, so you don't have to get to the second verse by that time. Yeah, um, been lucky on a few and, you know, just taking advantage of a few other situations. So, um, yeah, you know, I need I need a fair bit of a run-up to uh, to get up there and dunk it. I'm not a two-foot dunker like the Mitch McCarrens of the world. So, um, yeah, I need a bit of a run-up and, uh, yeah, just been lucky a few times. Um, I thought I was a young buck and then, you know, we had uh, Cam and Mitch go away for the Boomers camp for those two weeks and then you know Fernie came into practice and said uh Lows and Weeksy I need you older guys to sort of lead the younger guys. You older guys? Like yeah so I got, I got I got looped in with you which sort of hit home a bit harder than what I thought I it would. Don't. Yeah definitely um you know a lot of our road trips <laughs> You know, you're in the hotel and, you know, they're 36 hour trips, so you don't get a whole lot of time to yourself. But, um, yeah, luckily in New Zealand, we got the chance to, you know, go on a, a little wine island in New Zealand and, you know, get away off the court and talk about things other than basketball, which, um, you know, you can sort of take, take for granted at some time. So, yeah, it was just great to get away. Um, look, I think we live it just as much as the players live it and, um, you know, we enjoy the highs and the lows with them each game, so it's always nice to um, enjoy the successes, but I think one of the successes is to get away at the end of the season and have a break and do something completely unrelated to basketball as well. So. Oh, there's plenty of basketball left, right? <laughs> Ten more years? <laughs> 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 Maybe 15. Mm. 10 more years of debriefing after every year. That's wrong. Hey, how much are those machines? The, the bloody maker parts? That's a, a very good question, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is unreal. I think it was like 50 bucks from Kmart. What a store. Like al dente? Oh, it's got to be al dente, mate. Mm. It's unreal. Very good. Well, we had some fun today, folks, learning a little bit more about Agent 97. Well, we, the players, pulled our intelligence and came up with the nickname Weeksy, which we think works well. But that's it for Tropic Zone for this edition. We'll see you next time. Napoli, that's amore.